Hello everybody out there on YouTube and Facebook. This is Chris Nicholson and here's another video of my gigantic teddy bear, which I call Big Juan. Um, originally this was the 93 inch Costco teddy bear, which they had on special because of um, helping the Seattle Children's Hospital. And of course I see a lot of videos that this bear sold worldwide. A lot of people emailed me, I got this bear. That's my cat right there running back and forth. I got this bear. How do I stuff it and everything? Uh, it takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of precision, basically. Um, of course, I should have made a how-to video on it, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I have a lot of questions that you guys basically emailed me, and I'm going to answer those questions. But first, as you can see, the bear hits the fan, and it's almost to the ceiling. He's not 93 inches anymore. I have to take a tape measure and measure him, but he's a lot taller, a lot fatter, and a lot heavier. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, I'm going to show you what I did, starting with the feet. The feet over here, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to take the camera down and actually uh, point it to it. But on a foot, I added the front calf right over here. And i got to balance myself. And also, um, I'm going to soon add each individual, uh, each individual toes to you know both sides of the feet and everything um, I haven't planned how I'm gonna do that because I want it to look you know nice and uniform and professional and I have a I have a different kind of plan how I'm gonna do it so the bottom of his um, of his feet are more extended because of that and he's gonna have toes his hands I'm still working on them somebody led me to a tip said I could get stretchable uh, gloves that you wear in the winter time and I could just stuff them up and use that as a template. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably get that today. And then I have more material to work on it. Um, another question that I had was, um, what kind of material do I use for the bear to make my bear even bigger? Number one is that you can go back to Costco and get a smaller bear or get another bear just like this and just work around that. Um, it takes a lot of time just to even cut it up and do it the right way. Um, the second thing that, the reason I got the bear the way how it is, is that it was Christmas time. There was teddy bears everywhere. I got at least 15 of these models right over here. This is actually a Walgreens teddy bear. Um, and this is their special at Christmas time. You won't see these at Walgreens around, at least Christmas or Valentine's Day. And this was a $50 bear. And this is like, uh, this is their jumbo size of the Walgreens and everything. So, 15, or $50 times 15. <laughs> Plus, I had like a couple of uh, other bears using this. So, this was a lot, this was a lot of work and a lot of money just to actually put this bear together. And I'm still working on him. But yeah, I had a lot of these bears and you can see he's, he's the same fur only thing about it is that he's a little bit darker and I use the different body parts on this bear to make the body parts on that bear which is really neat like the nose if you see the nose right here when I lift up Big Juan's shirt it's actually his nipples and it's his uh, belly button so here we go what did I do to this bear not only I made it taller I'm going to lift up his shirt again, like how I do in all the videos. This, the nipples right over here, was the nose of this bear. So, it was the exact same nose of this bear. And I have more of those, more of those noses because I'm going to make the eyelids. And I'm going to make the eyelashes for it. Um, same thing with his belly button. It's, it was basically that his belly button was not the same size as this bear. It was a small, same bear as that one, but it was a smaller bear. So I made the belly button for that. His belly is a lot more rounder. It's a lot more rounder and you can still hug it. Very cushioned. Uh, don't get me wrong. Making the bear is bigger. It's going to be awesome because, you know, people come in there and they're like, wow, this is a humongous bear. But. The only thing about it is that this takes up a lot of room. This is bigger. I have right behind there, I have a seven foot grand piano. And when I lay the bear on top of it, 
it um, it takes up the whole piano. Yeah, I have a concert grand in my bedroom. Second thing is that it weighs a little bit more. So this is now a 350 pound teddy bear. Um, my other teddy bears are a little bit more and I will get to show you that when I take the camera off. Okay, so I rounded out his belly, his seam came up to here and I added another part from this bear right over here. And these over here, which is of course his breasts and everything, um, his chest, they are um, added parts from the arms of this bear. No, I'm sorry, the legs of this bear. So that was a lot of work just to do. It takes a lot of time, a lot of precision. You have to get the proportions right. Another thing that I found out is that whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side. And it took a lot of time just to do that. Okay. Put his shirt back down. His neck starts from right over here from the last video and it goes to right over here. I added another upper part for his neck and I'll show you the reason why during this video and he has a double chin. Um, his head was when he stand up straight he was more like this leaning up. There's no way to put him down. The only way to put him down is just to go like that you know. So um, what I did is I reconstructed his back and I'm going to show you that when I take off the camera. And at the same time, you get to see all my other bears. So this is Big Juan. This is my newest bear. Actually, this is my newest bear. I got this for Christmas, but my sister brought this for me to complete Big Juan. Uh, this is Bruno. This was my first bear. He was the biggest bear. He was bigger than Owen, which is my second bear. I made Owen smaller. And you can see Owen has a mustache and a goatee. And he's a little bit different from Bruno. And they both have hair. And I'm debating to put hair on Big Juan. So I don't know exactly which one do I want to do. But it's going to be expensive even to do that. Okay. And these two bears were made by MJC. Uh, Perfections. Which is their Jumbo Mickey Bears. And they were more expensive. These two bears just to start out were five. No, I'm sorry. $600 each. And then the material so. Materials were another another 2000 No, no, I'm sorry. Um, the materials were, uh, were, just, were just like around $1,000. So, you know, it's, it adds up just doing all this stuff. Um, the hair, it was, it, was, it was a little bit more too. I, I, it's hard to put a full figure on it, but... These are very expensive bears, and their furs are different. Somebody's messaging me, and this fur is the same thing as this. Okay, so now to go around the back. Here is his neck. And his neck is a lot more straighter. And on top of that, he has shoulder blades. So I'm going to lift up his shirt. As you can see, I still kept the tail. He has a full butt, and it's very detailed too. And you can see the shoulder blades right there. Now you see this part over here? That's the added piece for the back neck. And the back neck has been extended too, which is really good. And over here, these are the shoulder blades. And the back side over here is a lot more rounder. So it looks like a real back. Especially for a teddy bear. Um, so that's basically what I did with this huge bear. And it took... All these bears take a lot of work. Um, let me put this back on a stand. By the way, we have one more bear in the house, which is in another room. And his name is Harry. And he's an antique bear. He's like the size of a... Half the size of a... I was to say, he's a little bit bigger than this new bear right over here. All right, let me straighten this out. I had to put the camera in another room just to take this video, but there you go, everybody. That is the new upgrades that I did to this bear. I'm still not finished with it yet. Um, 
there was one more thing I wanted to mention is that um, I'm going to take the tag off after I finish the bear. So it's still a Costco teddy bear, but fully upgraded. When I take the tag off, it's a Chris Nicholson teddy bear. Thank you very much. If you need any more information, you can call me at 954-614-4483. Or you can message me on Facebook. Just type in my name, Chris Nicholson. YouTube, same thing, Chris Nicholson. Or join my website, which is chrisnicholson.com. And um, email me at chrisnicholson24 at yahoo.com. Thank you very much and have a nice day. I'll see you. Bye.